Normally this is where I'd be welcoming you to the to the next playthrough and such. But not this time. Why? Well, let me start with a story that began like two or three years ago. So I go to a friend's birthday party, right? Alright, so a friend gives him this game, Metroid Prime 2. And guess what? He doesn't have a GameCube. So, he borrows another friend's GameCube and plays the game all the way through, then doesn't touch it for a little, for a long time. Few, okay, now let's just go to a few months prior to the, after, uh, a few months ago from today. Uh, he says he, he says I can have the game, so I decide, okay, I decide to take it. Although, when he gives it to me, the disc is scratched, and on the back, it's just it's just really scratched and he did there's the box he lost the box for it. So I take it. He eventually finds the box and gives it to me, but I take the game. I try it out. It seems to work fine on the GameCube. It doesn't work on the Wii for some reason, but it will work fine on the GameCube. Sadly I didn't I barely really didn't test it to see how far it could go. I expected something like this could happen, but I didn't expect it to happen so soon. Basically, the game will crash at one particular part in the game, so I need to try and get the disc fixed, which, uh, which is my plan, and hopefully I can get it done within the week or in the next week or two. But for now, there's going to be no Metroid Prime 2. Maybe not even until the trilogy comes out and I can get that, but who knows. But, uh, but besides, that's besides the point. Now I need to share some news with you. First off, I'm going to go to the next playthrough that you voted for. Then I'll I will come back to this one immediately as soon as I um get the disc fixed or get the Metroid Prime trilogy. So for now I'm putting Final Fantasy 7 on hold although I have like maybe two hours more footage ready to go and post. But I'm gonna put Final Fantasy 7 on hold and I will start the next playthrough tomorrow. But it won't be Metroid Prime 2 of course because you'll see what the problem at the end of the video, sadly. But, I wish I could do it, but I can't for now anyway. Don't worry, I will. Just gotta go get the disc fixed. So, next playthrough, if you honestly have been paying attention to the votes, you can guess, it's pretty obvious. And someone else that I, that I have subscribed to is uh, doing the playthrough already, so, I'm going to give a warning to him that that's going to be my next playthrough just to make sure he knows. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, I plan to organize Metroid Prime into a playlist very soon along with Final Fantasy 7. It won't take too long and I'll make a playlist soon. Don't worry, the part where the disc stops working it's coming up in about a minute. Normally the audio I recorded was just talking about the new scanning features, how you scan things, how certain things counted, how different things were colored in different shades of color like blue and red to signify importance and such. But nope, that audio was deleted so I could tell you about the problems I have with this game. <sighs> okay, here, here it is. So I jumped down this hole, right, and then in the middle of the video, it just doesn't work. See? Sorry, people. Game over. <laughs> 